Good morning everyone, or good evening, or good night, or whatever time you're watching this video. Oh my god, you guys. If you know, if you have been watching my videos, you already know I just got back from my vacation. And you already know when you go on vacation, it is hard to stick to a diet, it is hard to work out. And do I even have to say it? You could like see it from my face. I get a lot of weight. So I went on vacation, I gained a lot of weight, now I gotta lose it because I'm back to reality. I'm done with having fun, I'm done with enjoying my life, I'm back to working hard, studying and crying. I'm just kidding, I'm happy, I'm happy, I'm happy. Anyways, in this video, I'm gonna be doing April Hands Full Body Intense body burning workout did i say that right or did i just repeat the words this is the video that i'm going to be following and this is her channel and i have done her leg workout before and i have seen great results so i'm hoping the same for this one because i really need to lose the fat that i have right now because it's really annoying everyone has been commenting on my videos replying to my story saying that i gained weight it doesn't really make me feel good but like whatever you know body positive i love my body and stuff like that but i also want to be healthy at the same time because i ate a lot of junk food like a lot of chocolate just a lot of unhealthy food like for the past month or like past three to two weeks i have been the unhealthiest i have ever been for the longest time basically unhealthy lifestyle and you know what i want to get back to being healthy i want to be healthy anyways i'm going to be doing this workout for seven days and see if i get results or not and it's an intense hit workout without equipment so we love hit workouts because we all know it works great hopefully this will work for me and it'll be my time to shine again Okay, so before we start this challenge, of course, we have to measure. Let me just trip real quick, okay. <laughs> so this is how I look right now. This is my before. This is how I look from the side. Let's measure with the measuring tape now. So, so my waist is 68 centimeters. My lower belly is at 76 centimeters. So now that we have the measurements, it's time to get started. It's time to lose all of this fat because I'm honestly tired of it. So let's go. Okay, you guys, so it is day two. Am I sore? I'm not. Surprisingly, I'm not. And I feel so good that I'm not sore because isn't that what we all want? I used to love being sore after working out, but maturing is realizing that you don't have to be sore after every single workout. I am walking fine. I'm going to the washroom fine and my body just feels fine. I was a little like not very comfortable in the morning but right now i feel super comfortable my body feels fine so that's a good thing anyways let's get started with day two if you're wondering why i started with day two instead of day one well that's because i don't have the clip of day one i lost a lot of my clips they're missing i've lost a lot of footage so i have to work with what i have but i promise i did film it i didn't feel like posting this video with the missing clips but i wanted to share my results with you guys so this is what we're all gonna have to work with so if you see a few clips missing or just something weird just know it's my camera's fault and i'm done for day two Are we ready for day three? Yes, we are. I've had a long day today. Tired, exhausted, don't really feel like working out, but I'm still gonna work out because you just gotta push yourself to dedication, to success. I'm not gonna be this entire like motivational speaker, but sometimes you just gotta pick yourself up. And whenever I feel tired, exhausted, and I don't feel like doing anything, sometimes I don't really do anything, but sometimes I do push myself. So sometimes, or 80% of the time, you should pick yourself up and do what you don't want to do if it's something that's good for you anyways i'm gonna stop talking let's get started with day three one of the reasons i love april hands workouts are because they seem very gentle and unique workouts but they also hit at the same time and burn body fat even her very intensive workouts feel like they're a piece of cake because her workouts don't consist of very difficult exercises but instead it consists of very easy exercises but still burning and effective guys it is day 
four. Day four. Day four. Okay, stop. Okay, we're gonna do the exercise. We're gonna work out. That's what we're gonna do. So, we got all the stuff that I need. My yoga mat, my laptop, and my phone. I don't really know why this is needed, but like I'm addicted to my phone, so whatever. Cardio workouts are great. Gymming is great. Hit workouts are great, but there are also other forms of activities that you could do to reduce fat, like walking, even if it's at a slow phase, running, biking, rowing, swimming, cycling, or even yoga. You can do whatever you like. You could even dance if you want, which is quite interesting for me, and lose fat. You don't specifically have to work out, do intense workout videos on YouTube. You could do anything that you like and lose fat that way. Okay, good morning, you guys. It's, it's like 7 a.m. in the morning. It's actually 7.30, and I'm late for class, but doesn't matter because I am already late so I might as well just be more late and I'm gonna work out right now because it's only 10 minutes because for the rest of the day I'm gonna be really really busy I'll probably come home tired and I won't work out so I don't wanna you know risk it risk of not working out so I'm just gonna work out right now in the morning before I head to class and basically yeah I haven't worked out on an empty stomach early in the morning in so long. I feel like puking. I actually feel like puking. My head is dizzy after the workout. I feel really dizzy. Okay, you guys, it is day six. I do feel lighter, but I feel like it's all in my head. I don't know. We have one more day to go. That's tomorrow. And the day after tomorrow, we'll see the results. Let's see how much weight I lost and how much I gained or how much is remaining and all that stuff. Why do I have so much energy? I just finished class and I just got home. So, I don't really know. Maybe I'm just excited because it's the end of the challenge. And if you guys know me, you know that I get really excited when I finish the challenge because I feel like I accomplished something, okay? Okay, you guys, so it is the last day. I'm pretty excited to get this over with because I have so many new challenges coming. There are so many new things I want to try, new workout challenges and stuff like that. I'm actually really excited. For now, I feel like I definitely feel lightweight. It's probably because I'm active after a very long time and I just, my body just feels much better. So I don't really know. Let's see what happens. Let's see. So I'm just gonna measure my waist first, 64 centimeters. Now I'm gonna measure my lower belly. It is at 73 centimeters. So as you guys saw, I lost three to four centimeters off of my waist and my lower belly. So that's really good because the workout didn't feel like exhausting. It didn't feel like very, very, difficult or challenging and i honestly think they're pretty great results for just seven days and without dieting or anything else so it was just this workout i was still eating mcdonald's i was still eating unhealthy i know i said i was gonna be healthy and eat better but you know uh. i will not be continuing this workout but I will be trying new workout challenges because I want to test everything out. So let me know in the comment section down below what other videos you guys would love for me to do. See, and I would love to do them. And yes, that's it for this video. Now I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.